Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've watched any of my previous videos. My name is Brittany. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Things like travel vlogs, um, daily vlogs, lifestyle content, all of the above. And for the next few days, um, vlogmas content. So we're back with another vlogmas video. Today, I this is going to be, I think, probably a, a quick one. But I am sharing my Christmas wish list. So I am obviously a fully grown adult. I am 35 years old. Do I still give my parents a Christmas list? Yeah, if they're going to ask and my family in general, but like if they're gonna ask, I'll give them some things to like work off of. Earlier on in Vlogmas, like I think it was in my Holiday Would You Rather video, I talked a lot about like, or I talked a little bit about like how I love giving gifts. That's like my love language, but it's sometimes it's hard for me to think of like, oh well, yeah, what do people, like what would I want for a gift? Cause like, I'm just always thinking about giving gifts to other people. I also am someone like I buy myself whatever I want, like she gets whatever she wants, uh, me to me. So that like I have in the past couple weeks been trying to more so be like, oh wait, do I actually need to buy this for myself or could I put this on my Christmas list? There have been a few instances where I still bought it anyway, but cause like I'm fortunate enough, I have a, a pretty good job. I, I mean, I don't have any kids. So like all of my money, well, besides my little dog Rumi, like all of my money goes to me. So I would also say like this wish list might be good to keep in mind for like maybe to get the girl who has everything. So I'm gonna share, I think I have seven things total on my christmas wish list so starting with number one this isn't in any particular order of like how much i like these things just like literally this was off the top of my dome this item came to mind first because if you watch my cyber monday black friday haul i talked about how i made a purchase from the tiktok shop about like a dupe of the uh or they're called the top the taz ugg braid like platform slipper so they're like about $140, which just felt like a little bit, I didn't really want to spend that. And so I found a dupe on the TikTok shop. My first ever purchase on the TikTok shop, my sister kind of convinced me. She was like, oh yeah, I've bought something, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I got scammed. I mean, I luckily I used Apple Pay, so like they don't have my credit card information, but like I went to check, it had been like over a week. And I was like, oh, what? what's the deal with my TikTok order? It was like, oh, it still doesn't ship. If it doesn't ship in five days, we will refund you. I'm still in that time period. But then I clicked on like the shop just to see. I was like, oh, I wonder like what else do they have there? The shop, that TikTok shop is closed. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna get those. So I may as well put the real ones on my Christmas list. So um, I think I kind of want them and like, they're also kind of hard to get because they are sold out. So I think I want the white pair or the like with the white fuzz, but I've also seen some, I think this must be an older style that's discontinued with more of like, the natural like nubuck like color camel uh color on the outside so i would love to have those it'd be great for like i live in chicago like i've said before so i mean it's chilly here well cold it's starting to get cold we are moving past chilly a little bit but also since i have a dog like a lot of times i'm just running in and out to like take her out or just running really quickly like to target down the street whatever and i have birkenstocks that i wear a lot but like if it's a little wet out, a little snowy, it would like these Uggs I think would suit me a little bit better. So that is one item I have on my Christmas list. And then next thing on my list is a vlogging camera. So if you're new here, I just launched this, well not just, it's been almost a year since I've launched this YouTube channel, but I launched it at the beginning of this year and it was kind of just like a, hey, let me see if I like this. So I didn't invest really any money or whatever into like starting this YouTube channel, like everything I used to create my videos is free, but I would like to invest in a vlogging camera because I've realized throughout this year, I really, really like YouTube and I like creating videos. I mean, I don't have like a super huge audience, but like it's something I really like to do. So a vlogging camera would be nice. Right now I just use my phone for everything, um, but it would be nice to a, not have to use my phone all the time because like a lot of times it's like dead or I want to use it for something that I'm doing in the video. So I just have to figure out how to like make that work. But it would be nice to have a vlogging camera. They're honestly more expensive than I thought. I thought maybe, okay, maybe I'm like a cheap person. I don't know, like based on everything I've said so far, but I thought, oh, maybe I could get like a digital, like a vlogging camera or maybe I'm just old. I was like maybe for like $150 or so. They're like the cheapest ones I've seen are starting in like the $250, $300 range. So, I mean, if anyone has a recommendation for a vlogging camera, let me know but a vlog, I've seen a Sony one that I really like. I see this GoPro one advertised a lot and it's, I feel like it's always on sale. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but the Sony one is pretty popular and it comes with like a microphone attached to it. And I've seen a lot of content creators use that. So that is something that I would really like um, to add to my list. 
Also, I guess it's like a, a caveat. I should have said this at the beginning before I started listing off my list. I like to use Christmas, and I mentioned this in my Black Friday and Cyber Monday haul. I like to use, I feel like to use them in the same way of like, these are things I like, but I just haven't thought, like I'm just like can't like bite the, not bite the bullet, that's not the right word, but like can't make the like commitment to buy them for myself. But if I got them as a gift, oh, I would love it. So that's kind of how like everything that's on this list is in that same vein i guess a little bit too something this is something i definitely want if i don't get this for christmas i'm gonna buy it for myself is a wireless phone charger so i had or a portable phone charger i guess is probably the right word i never had one until last year we had like a work um secret Sa or secret santa white elephant gift exchange and i that was the gift that i got it was the clutch charger and it's like the world's slimmest phone charger it like has a like a thing attached like the cord attached to it so you don't even have to bring like an extra cord or anything and i loved it it was just so nice to have when like if i'm out somewhere using my phone especially if i was like vlogging or anything to just be able to charge my phone like i mean it doesn't it won't charge it from zero up to 100 but it's a decent amount of like charging and it's so small and slim so i really loved that but i recently got a new phone i also think my phone was dying a lot because it was a little older but i got a new phone recently and it's the newest iphone and the apple they got me because the like charging port or whatever is different than like the cord that goes in is different than like the past iphones or at least past iphones i had so the wireless charger that i had what doesn't work for this phone anymore i mean i can still use it for like my ipad i guess that's really the only thing i could use it for um or any other i guess if i have any other devices that use that same like lightning port i think that's what the what it's called but i just like it again i loved having that portable charger so i would like another one of those if not the clutch brand something similar but i really really liked the clutch like just the sleek design of it too and how it was just so easy to throw excuse me in your bag your pocket whatever it doesn't take up much space so that's another i feel like hot tip or hot item that like i'll definitely use that like get really good use out of it okay another item i have on my list is a bagu bag and i guess i should say like there's a variety of items i would be interested in from bagu so i didn't know about bagu until recently my sister like introduced me to it my youngest sister i feel like it is like a little bit more like a gen z minded company and she thought a bag that i had she was like oh is that a bagu bag i was like no but what is bagu so then i looked into it and i was like oh these are really cute bags so there's a couple different bags that i really like like the crescent bag i think is one of them the crossbody bag and then i think it's called the cloud carry on they're really really like cute well made like everyday type of bags like the cloud or that cloud carry on bag that would be more like a duffel bag and i actually don't have a duffel bag I guess I just got that mini weekender. That'd be the closest thing to a duffel bag that I currently have. So I think they're like every, their sustainability is like a huge part of the of Bagu's mission. So I think a lot of the materials are made from recycled, like a lot of the bag materials are made from recycled materials. And I know they try to like eliminate waste. So a lot of things are made from just like a single, it's like a single piece of fabric. So there's no like cutting or anything like to, to like cut down on the waste so like a good mission obviously behind the company too but bagu a bagu bag like kind of any of those three that i mentioned i feel like are really good bags an everyday bag i would definitely get a lot of use out of it and it'd be like and there oh there are a ton of like different cool designs too so another i think great gift idea for myself or anyone that you think might be interested okay i think i'm on item five now so number five on my list is a sunglass travel case so i, I travel like quite a bit i have a decent amount of travel vlogs on my channel and there's also some travel i've done like in addition to that and i just i like you know getting out going around i recently just got into like nice designer sunglasses so i bought my my first pair ever of designer sunglasses when i went to paris earlier this year then i've recently bought a celine pair from it it was from an employee sale so i think i paid a hundred dollars for them it was like nothing crazy but they're still like those are still both of those are like nice glasses so before that i literally bought like ten dollar glasses or something so when i would travel with them i would just throw them in like a little like a little dust bag or something and i'm sure they like would get crumbled or whatever and like throw them in my carry-on so then since these glasses i just mentioned like the selena dior ones are a bit nicer i will be upset if they break so i think i kind of want a sunglass travel case to be able to something still small and compact i've seen a few different um styles that i like online so something like that that i could still fit in, easily fit in a carry-on but like could protect my sunglasses and still keep them organized when i travel so or even just like going to like the beach or something too 
um, I think that it could be useful. So sunglass travel case is another item on my list that like, fingers crossed, maybe Santa will bring me that. Okay, so item number six. So this is getting a little more into like, okay, is this a need? No, but would this greatly improve my life? 1000%. So a towel warmer is item number six. I've actually been wanting a towel warmer for quite a while. I mean, like I said, I live in Chicago. It gets cold here in the winter. I wanted this originally when I, back when I was like living in like a uh, vintage, aka okay, old apartments and they would still be like pretty chilly in the winter or at least mine were because I didn't really crank the heat that much because I wasn't trying to pay those electricity bills. But I mean, even though I live in a nicer, like newer apartment now, still don't always want to like crank the heat and it would just be really nice to get out of the shower and have a warm towel waiting for you or even in the morning to like pop my robe in there and like let it warm up. I saw Jackie Ina once put her bonnet in a towel warmer before she went to bed and I was like, that is a game changer. So it's just like a little something extra to like add a little bit of comfiness, like coziness into like my day to day one of my friends when they came to my apartment for the first time just because like, i do have a lot of little like not gadgets gadgets i guess or little things like i really believe in like making my house a home i spend a lot of time at home i work from home i'm very much a virgo and that like i can be a little bit of a homebody at times but this is like my solace so one of my friends when she came to visit for the first time she was like i feel like i'm in a spa like everything or like at a resort everything that i like want or need is available to me and like things that i wouldn't even think about having and i think a towel warmer would add to that whole vibe in the best way so towel warmer is for sure something like again if i don't get this for christmas i probably will buy this <clears throat> i probably will buy it for myself like at the beginning of the year that's my most toxic trait i'll just buy it for myself again i'm trying to like be better about that okay last item on my list this is actually something i asked for for christmas last year i did actually like I, I my mom was like oh i meant to buy this for you but it was it's definitely like it's always kind of out of stock so you just have to like pre-order it and then eventually you'll get it but it's called the hulkin bag it so i live in like okay i've said this now 25 times i live in chicago but i feel like a lot of people that live in cities have like those granny carts i've never had one of those i do not like them they just like don't look i'm not pushing that around like i don't know and it also just feels a little bit like I don't really want to be it's just like not something that's appealing to me but i think having a cart like that could make my life a little bit easier but the hulkin bag is basically like a much cooler like chicer version of that so it's like these big well they come in three different or two or three different sizes the medium size is the size that i would want um and it's basically like you could use it as a shoulder bag like if you're not like rolling it but it has like a, a wheels on it so you could ease it easily use it to like go back and forth from the grocery store like ha hashtag apartment life like all of that kind of stuff and my parents are actually living in an apartment right now like they kind of had a house fire earlier this year so they're living in an apartment temporarily and since they've been living there they're like how have you guys they use like a wagon to move stuff from their car into their apartment all the time and they're like said to me and my sister they're like how have you guys how do you guys not use these kinds of things and i was like i don't know i guess i've just gotten used to it like over the years at this point of living in apartments like what, 15 years probably but a hulkin bag I definitely want this. I'm putting it back on my Christmas list and I hope that I do get it. And they have some cool new colors this year too. So those are the seven items that I have on my Christmas list for 2023. Like I said, I feel like it's a good mix of things. Like I will definitely use all of these things. A lot of them are things, like I said, I've thought about buying for myself and just like for one reason or another did it. So I feel like Christmas is a good time to throw it out into the eat those, see if I end up getting it, if Santa brings it to me. And I've mentioned this like a handful of times before too. I do try to be an ethical shopper. I'm trying to be better about being an ethical shopper and avoiding like overconsumption. And Christmas is a big, obviously, opportunity where like overconsumption like quickly becomes like the name of the game. So, and again, I don't need anything. Like I have everything that I could possibly want and need or not everything I want, everything I need. Um, but it was, like, again, these are just like great gifts, like little fun things to have and to get so anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video maybe i mean if you're shopping for me for christmas you're welcome for like giving you all these ideas or if you're shopping for anyone that you think or maybe this can provide a little bit of inspo for someone else um that you are shopping for too that maybe you feel like we have a similar type of vibe and lifestyle but if you enjoyed this video which i hope that you did make sure to like and subscribe keep tuning back in for vlogmas i've got a little bit more content to come and i'll see you on the next one Thanks for watching.